friends. Welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday. It is Monday, so it is meal prep day. I am so happy to be back to meal prepping. I've been loving being able to cook in my new house and not have to go out for every single meal. So I am super, super extra excited for this week's recipe. So if you are excited to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, because I upload a meal prep every single Monday and I do upload five videos a week. So make sure your bell is turned on so you never miss a single upload. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly links, discounts to all of my favorite things. And of course my Facebook group are all down in that description box. Definitely come join us there as well. So let's get into the kitchen and let's meal prep for the week. Is there a place with sun all year round And pina coladas With pretty faces and sand on the ground for breakfast this week, I am making make ahead breakfast burritos. These are easily reheatable in the morning. You can heat them in the microwave, the oven, you can even pop them into the air fryer. They just make a really quick, easy, already done breakfast that you can even take on the go. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some light butter, eggs, whole milk, low carb tortillas of your choice. My favorite are the Mission Carb Balance. You'll need some bacon. I am making my life easy with fully cooked bacon, salt and pepper, as well as some light shredded cheese. The first thing we're going to do is grease a nine by 13 baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray and turn our oven on to 350 degrees. Now we need eight slices of bacon. So whether you buy fully cooked or cook it yourself, you're going to want to fry up eight slices. So I'm actually going to pop eight slices in the microwave for just a couple of minutes to get it nice and crispy and then we'll crumble it up and set it aside. We're going to crack eight eggs into a medium sized bowl. We're going to add half of a cup of whole milk and some salt and pepper. And whisk that together until fully mixed. I added two tablespoons of my light butter to my skillet. I'm going to let that melt down just a little bit before we add in the egg mixture. Go ahead and add in your egg mixture and scramble the eggs. So to assemble our burritos, you're going to take whatever low carb tortilla that you're using. I have my eggs here. Now they are not fully cooked. I don't want them to get spongy. And since this is going in the oven to continue to cook a little bit, I made sure that my eggs were undercooked just a tiny bit. So I added some of the eggs. We're going to put a couple little pieces of crumbled bacon. We are making seven burritos total. So make sure that you have enough eggs, cheese, and bacon for seven burritos. I have one cup of light shredded cheese, so I'm going to take just a little bit of that and put that right on top of the bacon. Roll that up, and then we're just going to put that into the baking dish and repeat for the other six burritos. I lose my mind and go insane. I don't wanna sleep every night. I want a lot of spark in the dark. I don't wanna say I'm okay. Living the same every day. Come run beside me, let's take off. So my breakfast burritos are out of the oven. These look really good. They have a nice crisp to the tortilla. So like I said, I'll either microwave them, you could wrap them in foil, throw them back in the oven, air fry them, whatever your preference is. It's going to be super, super convenient for breakfast full of protein, healthy fat with the cheese. They are five points each, and I'll go ahead and put calories and all the information here on the screen for you. I'm going to let these cool, and then I'll individually wrap them in some saran wrap and throw them in the refrigerator for the week. Is there a place with sun all year round? For lunch this week, I am making jalapeno popper 
meatballs. I love that, that other jalapeno lunch that I made. So I decided to make some meatballs because I love a good meatball and it makes a super, super easy, convenient lunch. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need breadcrumbs. You can use panko or regular, Parmesan cheese, light cream cheese. This is actually the one third less fat cream cheese, garlic powder, onion powder, a fresh jalapeno, bacon. Again, you can cook your own or use fully cooked. You could even really use bacon bits. And then you'll need a pound of extra lean ground chicken. So to get started on our meatballs, I've added my one pound of lean ground chicken. I have one quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, two ounces of light cream cheese softened, four slices of bacon cooked and crumbled, one quarter cup breadcrumbs, about a quarter cup of really finely diced jalapeno. And I forgot to show you guys in true gen fashion that you'll need an egg as well. And then lastly, some onion powder and garlic powder. Now the not so fun part, we get to dig in with our hands and mix everything together really well. And then we want to roll out about 12 meatballs. I do have a quarter sheet pan sprayed with some non-stick cooking spray. Our meatballs are going to be pretty good size. We're going to add those to the sheet pan. Here are our meatballs. These look so good. They smell amazing. Every piece of a jalapeno popper in a meatball. These are nice and big and hearty and full of protein. You could pair these with vegetables, mashed potatoes, roasted potatoes. You could even put these in a low carb wrap with some cheese and maybe some sauce. This is just a really versatile, easy lunch and they store really well in the refrigerator. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making strawberry bread and we're even going to add some icing. This is so fresh and perfect for spring and summer. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need all purpose flour, whole milk, sour cream, powdered sugar alternative. I'm using the Lakanto powdered. It is the best. You can use as much as you want in a recipe and it remains zero points. I love that. Plus it's such a great sugar alternative. I'll link Lakanto down below with a discount for you guys. You'll need some salt, baking powder, fresh strawberries, eggs and egg whites, light butter, vanilla, and some cinnamon. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and chop up my strawberries. I did wash them, and we're just going to dice those up and put them here in this bowl. When we get there, we'll throw a big feast with pina coladas. added one cup of the Lakanto powdered sugar to my bowl. I'm going to crack in five eggs and one egg white. Two tablespoons of my sour cream. Two tablespoons of whole milk. About one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. One half of a teaspoon of salt. one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're going to mix this together until combined. Now we're going to add in our melted butter and then mix that together until combined. Next is going to be 12 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Stir that in completely. Here are our diced up strawberries. We're going to add all of them except for about a quarter of a cup. Go ahead and set that aside. 
Mix those in and your batter is going to be on the thick side. Spray a loaf pan with some nonstick cooking spray. Add in your batter, and this is going into a 350 degree oven for about 65 to 70 minutes. Once it's about cooked, we'll go ahead and make up the icing. The strawberry bread is out of the oven. It smells and looks delicious. We're going to let it cool for about 10 minutes and we're going to make the icing. So to make the glaze, we have about three quarters of a cup of our monk fruit powdered sugar. We're going to add in about a tablespoon of a butter. And what I like to do whenever I add a liquid to an icing is to stir it before I add any additional liquid. You don't want your icing too runny or too thick. So I'm going to do just a little bit of stirring. We'll add a dash of vanilla and then we'll add in our milk until we have our desired consistency. So that actually looks really good. It's thicker, but it's going to drizzle over the top of the loaf of bread. So my poor bread stuck a little bit to the bottom of my pan. Pro tip, spray your pan really, really well with nonstick cooking spray. The good news is once we add this yummy icing over the top, we're probably not even going to notice it. So we're going to add the strawberries and the icing right on top. So here is our strawberry bread. It looks so incredibly delicious. Wait until you hear how low point this is. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen for you. And of course, as always, this recipe will be on my website. I know two people who are really excited for this. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you are as excited as I am about all three recipes and you're as excited as I am about meal prepping again. I can't wait to dig into these all week long. Don't forget these recipes as well as all of my recipes are on my website. I'll link it down in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Don't forget to come on over and join us there as well. We would love to have you. Thank you again for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and ring your bell so you never miss a future upload. Have a fantastic Monday and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.